Hello and welcome to 22 Wizard Woods Basketball for Love and Tigers and the Wizard Woods Warriors. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, Joe Inc. is here, my partner. And hopefully everything goes in Warriors with tonight. We are underway with the with the tip. Taking the ball to Evan Tewsbury in early turnover by the Warriors. Beat the ball to eleven number five. Anything on the rest? Number thirty two puts it up for Loveland and it failed to connect. Feed it off. As anybody going as well, and a shooting foul and with the Wolf Warriors. And love them will go to the love them will go to the line for two shots. Shooting two will be Will Berkey. First one put up, it's no good. But connect the second one, it's one deal of them. Robert Delayo puts it. Feed it to Dion Sharp. Sharp from the opening. Feed it back to Delayo. JVM Stanford. Ball able to find Baba DeLeo, De but luckily he saved with the Warriors. And De 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 Deshaun Sharp will take the inbound. They throw the ball. Off the Sharp. Stolen by Loveland on a fast break. I'm in mean rush. And three three block for the Warriors. And so Stanford don't find opening, but two layers of a pass stolen by Loveland. Stanford was way out open and that the foul is called on Stanford at Loveland in deep territory. And that in their defensive end. That's a two early fouls on the Warriors. to the paint, how do I open the area for a three point shot and still have been able, no one has been able to make a field goal. Ball for Stanford. Hit to Jesus Hammond Jr. Back to Stanford. Duh, duh, stay low. Sharp. Stay low. Ricky Samuels. Be sharp. Put that up and able to connect. Double team, but it was successfully to get out of it. Bounce pass. The put back in. That's the first field goal for Loveland. Put it in by Jack Sauer. Stanford takes it up half court. Diallo. Get it stolen. Big pocket. The put back is good. Oh, 
by Ryan Litchfield. Sharp. Stanford. He tried to hit the top, he it out, gets back to the yellow. Find Sharp. And a first foul on Loveland. Which is in the five minute mark. It is five to to the Tigers. Only one team only with one field goal. And two field goals for Loveland. The yellow comes off. And then 24. Mark E.C. Mitchell. And the first field goal goes in for the Warriors. And that is by Davion Stanford. They said a three point ball game. Failed to make the one inch layup. Stanford comes up half court. Takes it by himself and makes it. Out of four points for Stanford, and four points for the Warriors, and timeout by the Tigers. Boys are finding their rhythm and so is Stanford. Timeout. 5 4 to the visiting Tigers. 3 0 left in the first. We get the ball to Isaiah Marks. He's the Berkey. And a three point ball game once again for Loveland. Danford taking up the ball. The, lead, the only Warrior hit the foot on the board. Nearly stolen, but it goes to the level Tigers anyway. Braden Fright coming up. Well, great bounce pass, but Fellas put up the shot and goes to the Warriors. Stanford taking off the ball court. He's the DJ Samuel. What the foul call by the block? He gets the ball at Sam Martin in it. The shot does not go in. Stanford taking the ball up. Three to two, Christian Williams. Mel Crossy. Crossy here at the foot just make a shot. And foul on the Tigers. Two shots. For number 22. Christian Williams. Fail to make the turn. So I made the second one. Weird thing goes one for two.
Ben Hicks going to the paint and try to block. And then it put back and, and Hicks is fouled. It goes to the line. The third foul on the Warriors. First one goes up, and the first one is no good. Second one puts up, and connects the second one. Stanford comes up the wall half court. Raymond Humphreys. The Quirsten. Quirsten. And the and one for number 23, DJ Samuels. DJ Samuels has a chance to tie the game up at eight. Here's the the, the basket leading to the and one for for Samuels, puts up the shot, and we are tied up at eight. With less than a minute to go in the first quarter. First fast break, picked it up, and failed to hit the bank. Put back. By number eight. Five, Antonio Saludo. Raymond Humphreys, it is the Stanford, to McCarthy Mitchell. Back to Humphreys. It, 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 it wins this time, but, but um, Samuel will go back to the line. up and it's good. The first pair to connect the first free throw of the game. Second one's put up and failed to hit the second. Roman has a chance to go up by three at the end of the quarter. Failed to hit the first shot. And travel on Loveland. Three seconds to go, it's head nine to the Vision Tigers, but Warriors have a chance to put up a shot to lead at the first quarter. Stanford puts up a half court shot, he found no, but cannot put up the half court shot. At the end of the first quarter, it's the Vision Tigers 10 and your Warriors 9. for the second quarter as as Levin gets the ball. I think Mark taking it in the inbound and feeds it off to to Ludo. My partner Ian Ludo is here and block shot. Very Knight in takes it up. 
Stanford. And Wizard Woods gets a first of the game thanks to Marquise Mitchell with his first point of the game and it's 11 10 Wizard Woods. Foul is called, four foul on the Warriors, and two, one more foul puts him in the bonus. Mitchell did a jump for Tessie Ben Hicks. He picked it off to Saludo. To Goldie, get his first touch of the game. That's a Goldie. Bad pass off his off balance, coming up with Marquis Mar Mitchell with the last basket and failed to put up this one. And it saved it at a one point ball, ball game. Goldie put, failed to put make the shot. Now he cut off the ball and feeds it to Stanford. And failed to make that shot and Hick gets the rebound and feeds it off. Stanford. Yeah. 14. I think Amaris gets the, retains the lead for Loveland. Not eight coming up half court. Samuels fights up and gets the basket. That'll be a fifth point of the game. We use lead again. Six coming up to half court. Taking the floater and fails to connect. Zero. 19 failed to get the rebound, stepped out of bounds, and the ball goes back to the Tigers. As Stanford comes off, following that play. Mark with the ball. Stolen by Mitchell. On Iron Man Rush, Mitchell puts it up and failed to connect, gets the rebound, failed to connect that one. And him with the rebound again and ball goes to Loveland. After two put back, turns it over and goes back to the Tigers. Looks like he had him on a two on one there. Could have fed the, fed the rock prior to the layup. Yes, sir. Field used the glass on the second shot. If you fight, use the glass, it would have baked in. Yeah, sure used glass. That's a lost art using glass. He's been lost for about 20 or 30 years. I wonder about that. It goes back to when there was only two point shots. What was that? That was back in the, maybe the 80s, early 90s. ABA was the one who introduced the three point shot to who, basketball. Who was that? The ABA League, they had the ABA and the NBA, and the ABA had the red, white, and blue basketballs and the three-point shot. Tito's with the glove trotters now. What's that? Tito's with the glove trotters yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It was funny when you shoot the basketball, you'd see the spinning red, white, and blue. It was actually pretty cool. Yep. Foul is called. That'll be the fifth foul on Loveland. Yeah, actually, when I went to college, he didn't have the three-point shot until our senior year. And your alma mater, Indiana, is good. It's, it's tough off the number one team, Purdue, last Saturday night. Yeah, it was a good win. Big win. Beat the number one team in the country and a rival. Oh, yeah, Indiana. Humphrey with the ball. Ball with the yellow. Knight puts it up, and oh, out of bounds. Already, that ball already, already went up. in. Yep, but <laughs> the ball already crossed it hit up. the top? Yep, hit the top. Wish you could have that one back. That's worth a replay on that one. How did that one go in? Yep, it, it hit, hit the, the mic. Hit the deck tonics. Nice and a little bit unlucky there. That'd be a good trick shot. And travel on Loveland, and the ball is going to the Warriors and had a chance to make it a three-point lead or four. 
Now he'll be taking the inbound and feeds it off to Diallo. To Stanford. And out of bounds, and the ball goes back to Lovin. Yeah, I think when they introduced the three-point shot in college, it was like 19-something. That was threes crazy, and they put it back a little farther. Yeah, it was definitely added in 84, because... Yeah, college it was 84, because I remember Indiana senior year, 1984, Steve Alford, they introduced the three-point shot, and Bobby Knight was opposed to it. He goes, but I got a guy who can shoot it better than anybody, so... Which was Steve Alford. Played on that 84 Olympic team with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan played it in as an amateur and then when he was a pro on the dream team. Oh, in the basket. So Ben, what do you think about LeBron making the NBA scoring record? I was shocked, but he's doing great with a Laker team, but yeah. not a good Laker team. Whoever they fight to be going to, I think the Nets, I heard. LeBron to the Nets? No, um, no um, Patrick Beverly, his oh. fellow, late, fellow teammate, or probably ex-teammate. Boy, the Nets have about 22 draft picks, I think, now with all those trades. Yeah. A blockbuster week in the NBA. Pretty much. Stolen by Stanford. Oh, and basket and a foul. And, and a finish. One. Very nice. That will be six, six points for Stanford. Strong finish. This one so far, Ben's been back and forth, back and forth. Pretty much, and we can see him back and forth, back and forth. So is this the final home game of the year for Winwoods? Yes, it's senior night, and it's the last game of the season as well. Next week is the, the sectionals, or district as people call it. The girls' tournament's already started, right? The girls' tournament, uh, which was beat Middletown by a score of 47-41. Wow. With Denai Tremel getting her fourth double-double of the year. As I know of. Blocked by Samuels. But and then stolen by Royce Jones. Oh, nice Water steal. Away. Good hands. And in a three man collision on the court. Who gets the foul? Stanford slow to get up though. Looked like three people. Watch that. It's a three man collision. I wouldn't know who to call the foul on that, would you? No, I wouldn't. That's why I'm not a ref. And the ball goes to Loveland. Yeah. That's probably on with the Woods. So, Ben, is the refing in this game as good as the NFL? Hope so. <laughs> I hear that Roger. Not, not according to Roger Goodell. <laughs> it's never been better. <laughs> I'm pleased about that. I'm not actually got a TV. Never been better than if you're a Chiefs fan, right? Yep. <laughs> Stanford failed to get the ball and goes to right to Loveland. Games being played to help their scout their pace. No clock, he got the steal. Put up the shot and. Oh, boy. Air ball. I would have put up the shot, but fed it back. And two shots. Nice drive to the basket. It was actually a couple passes that time. I can shaking in here. Yep. Place is rocking. In two more weeks, the baby, the baby will be rocking for FC Cincinnati. The baby will be rocking. There we go. They have a home game in two weeks. Yep, against Houston. Might be playing in snow. 
Wow, spring's on its way of two weeks soccer. 25th. Wow. In the Dynamo. And maybe first, but Fanthe is the second. Nice drive to the hoop. And Fanthe the lead, but got the rebound, and the 17-16 yeah, okay. to the tight game. This is bought our seventh or eighth lead change. I think so. Probably, I know it's up to five. I lost count after that. And oh. stole, and, uh, and failed to get the ball and asking him for two, like, he beat to my chest. I'm, I'm to my side. That's what, that's a little error, but he took his eyes off it, too. Uh, I'm not sure the pass was, wasn't a great pass, but it should have been caught. I love to have the chance to make it a good possession game before the half. And the big shot, and and to put it half forward, a chance to inch in this game. Half forward, and oh. not no good. At the end of the first half, it is going to go with Warriors 16 and the Visiting Tigers 19. 19, which he had that three point back, and it'll be tied, but unlucky hitting the shot clock and put back in. If I play sports for my school, I learn how to be part of a team. I will have more friends. I will be active now and when I'm a grown up. I will learn how to work hard. I'll have better attendance. I'll learn how to overcome adversity. I'll be more likely to go to college. I will learn how to get along with others. If I play sports for my school. If I play sports for my school. If I play sports for my school. I must learn to be a good student during school if I want to put on my uniform after school. Back here in the second half, Ben. We, me and Ben were talking before the end of the quarter that that might have been the fastest quarter we, we've ever broadcasted. I think it took seven, seven minutes equal. I don't think there was, a, I don't think there was even a whistle blown during that quarter. I don't think so. Ten in the free throw, they don't none. Yeah. Hear me now? Yeah, you gotta sometimes remember that. The yellow with the ball. The only way you can hear it, Ben, is if our mic's close. If you have to go 8-1, but go for two shots. <laughs> so there's a rare thing tonight since so far, Ben, a, a trip to the foul line. If you have to make the first. A lot of side spin on that one. <laughs> and failed to hit both. Two missed crucial free throws by Samuels and the Warriors. Hopefully it will not come back to haunt them. I think the side spin was spinning that one right out. Round pass and could not get the roll. Samuels, beam the yellow. Stanford, Samuels, Stanford. Wooden was trying to run a little bit of offense Stanford here. was up to three and connect. He was helping us count that. He gave us the three signal. And we're not tied up at 13. He put up a three and, and that goes response. in. He gave him three signals back. Brendan Freitch puts it up and restores the three-point lead for visiting Tigers. Stanford. That's what you call trash shooting back and forth, right? Pretty much. Diallo. Samuels. Diallo. To the rim. Oh! Diallo just... failed to put, get the roll. Looking for Stanford, but finds Diallo. 
Go back in the paint and get the ball back after getting the ball spotted away from him. The bank shot goes in by number 30. Just on chart. So Wooden Woods has got some serious height with this lineup here right now. Yep. We got six I, guys, probably about six seven. You had a couple nice touch. And a two point shot. But give a couple more years. Woods guys will be on varsity. I think they can make a run. These teams have come out shooting the J in the second half. Stanford. And a drive and a block. Nice block. And the ball stays with the Warriors. Samuels. John Sharp. And the elbow. Elbow off the ball. Foul on 22. And that's a crucial turnover and by the Warriors. Time comes in. 22 comes off. And put on Raymond Humphreys. A fairly short substitution there. You have to plug that something. I don't think so. You got it. Back. And the bank shot goes in. By number 23, Braden Fright. Stanford comes up with the ball. Stanford. Samuels. Part of a put up a three, but puts up a three anyways. And puts it in, and it's actually a two point ball game. Oh, it was a two shot. All right, I'm mistake. Right. Bounce pass to number five. Puts it up, and it is no good. Warriors have a chance to tie out of number three. Stanford. And tries to fade into number two, Raymond Humphreys, and the ball will remain with the Warriors. Samuels. Humphreys. Stanford. Stanford does a spin, puts up the J. And get the roll, and it's back to a one-point ball game. Stanford leading the team to a hopefully a victory for the Warriors. I don't know what happened. Of the J and it is connected and Ben Hicks just restored the lead to a three point ball game. Smith ready inbound and luckily the ball stays in for Humphreys. The bounce pass to Samuels. Samuel comes up and success has no block. The same man is comes up, bounce pass number 43 and it is up and good. The other cut of the ball. Two minutes to go in the third, and it's lovely that leads by five. And timeout by coach Lee Le Johnson. Mike, Mike, the mute and tell him my mic's out. Tony. Tony, do you, do you hear? Do you hear Ian? What? He can't hear. Is he, is he working? Okay. Stanford has the ball and stolen off the to the feed to the yellow, and it is no good. Warriors get away with one there. Stanford takes it up in midcourt.
Knighton to Samuels. Samuels comes into the paint and the big shot goes in. And nice finish. He used glass that time. Little Windex. Bill Raptors has the kiss. And the, the, gets the roll and a 33-27 restore. The, the lead is restored to five for the Vision Tigers. Almost a, a less than a minute to go in the third quarter. Stanford. Another quick quarter going on here. Knighton. Feeds it to Humphreys. Knighton. Samuels. Diallo puts it up and fails and fails to make the three. And the lead stay that remained at five. For the Tigers. Quick of the three, but puts up three anyway and fails to connect. Good but Stanford get in the rebound. Humphrey takes one fast break. Beat the Knights, United puts up a three. Man. And oh, fails to make that three. Good look there. Two on two fast break. And fails to get the roll. Stanford with another rebound. Stanford takes a long fast break and the bank shot. And nothing. Nothing. Yeah, but he can make he was underneath the basket. I don't know if they. He got it. Yeah. Shot here. Trying Let's to go. Oh, oh and that. And it's a three point lead, a six point oh. lead. That was a tough three there. They got down to three and now it's back up to six. And after the third quarter, it is the Visiting Tiger 35 and your Warriors 49. We'll be back in 60 seconds before we start of the fourth quarter. Another rapid third quarter. This, this game is going by like lightning. So Indiana has to go up to Michigan tomorrow. That'll be a tough game up in Ann Arbor. Yep. The Big Ten is brutal this year. Yeah, especially for our Buckeyes. You got six, seven teams right, right next to each other, within a half a game of each other. Well, my Buckeyes actually suck it up. Horrible coach and a horrible center. They be, oh God, I hate that guy. They dropped off a little bit. They were pretty good last year. Yep. But these transfers are just, just horrible. We need Goodell. All right, the fourth quarter after my Ohio State rant. Eleven with their biggest lead so far, I think. Yes, it is. It's a big possession here. And connect. Now it's eight. Nice in case the inbound goes up, goes up half court. Feed it to Humphreys. Outside of that three, third quarter, I'm not sure Wooden Woods did they have another, maybe one or two baskets. Damon puts it up and it connects and leads back to six. Good ball fake. That three pointer about a, at the end of the buzzer is, is a huge, a huge difference in this game. It won't be throughout the game. They needed to stop there, Wooden Woods. If they can convert this time, they're dead. It's back down to four points. In the, in the crazy thing about this game, there's not been one jump ball this whole game. Yeah. A long three oh. Humphreys, and it's, I think it's a roll. And the ball remains with. The ball hits the Warriors. Here's the, here we're gonna see the shot that ended the third quarter. We do not. Samuel. Oh, and a, three and a big three for Winwoods. Down to three. Humphrey makes we, the three and a 5-0 run for the Old Town Warriors. We got a ball game again. 
Craig is the deal. Nice again. finish. High point lead once again. Well done by Loveland right there. Stanford comes up with the ball. Took it to the hoop. I think Stanford's got to be for a double double. He's got to be. Humphrey thought about putting up another three, but goes into the paint. Beautiful pass. Great nice pass. finish. Well done. Nice penetration, nice kick to the big man. And timeout by the Tigers. With the, by the score is visiting Tigers 39 in your home, Warriors 36. So we'll I, got, I, think we, I think we got an interesting five minutes to go here. We'll be back in, in, in 60 seconds. You're going to see we like to see other still before that year. A lot of energy in this game. Any idea, Ben, what Winwood's JV record is? No. Oh, yeah. the, varsity, the, the varsity game could be pretty good. 9 11 Tigers versus the 9 and 12 Warriors. And the Warriors have a great, a great I think it's a freshman. A senior year, Dingham bossed it. He averaged 22 points a game this season. We are probably going to have an extended between game with the senior night, I would think. We would. Yeah. This will be the last home game at the arena. I went to high school for Damian Boston. We have a monster every year, averaging 22.1 points per game, leading the ECC. Keep getting this. We're gonna look at the monitor for the start of the start of the timeout. Yeah, we're gonna we won't see the last four minutes of the game. <laughs> we might have to stand. We, we got a monitor. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's more fun watching. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we do. We got a TV monitor here, guys. <laughs> Pass in. We've got the senior adults walking in front. Drive to the hoop. They failed to connect. Huge they stop missed. for the Warriors. Rebound, Kansas Warriors. Rebound. Humphrey has the ball coming up. He's the Samuels. Humphrey. Humphrey puts up a long shot and oh, it. Oh, big three. Humphrey's got distance. Big three. We got ball game tied. We might be looking at some OT, Ben. Pretty much, and the foul. Oh. Stop the momentum for the Warriors. That will be the second foul on the Warriors. So if this is senior night, is this JV night then? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, what a the nice steal. steal. By Winwood's made a couple of nice stops here. Chance to take their first lead in a while. In the second quarter. Yep. Lead it to number 24, McKenzie Mitchell. Mitchell Beautiful pass and a finish. Warriors get the lead, thanks to McKenzie Mitchell. Had a couple of nice plays here in the fourth quarter. The only by Mitchell. Steal. And a transition. And oh! Four, and a four point lead. And you don't know, run for the Warriors. And time out once again for the Virginia Tigers. What a run by the Wynn Woods. They were down seven, right? Eight. Eight, eight, eight. So they've outscored them by 12 points. What was it, 38-30? 38-29. 38-29. Because since then, they've outscored them 15 to one? Yep. It's a heck of a run. Seniors and those walking with seniors, please meet Coach Lumpkin and the old Coach Bell. Okay, bye. The ladies, my guys, good. Wow. I I got pizza plus. Maybe before that, I'm tired. You might want to get this here. Yeah. 
Well, Loveland took a punch here in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can counter punch. Not literally, just basketball time. This place is rocking tonight. Yes, sir. It's almost like a Xavier basketball game. More like an FT Cincinnati game. FT Cincinnati, there we go. They can afford to be patient. Mitchell, Knighton. Work the clock here, get a good shot. This is about high school, there's no shot clock. Yeah, you could literally Take ice it. The whole game, yeah. You can ice three minutes. Knighton. Well, Winwood's being patient, a cross court pass, a little dangerous. That would be, this will already be a shot clock violation. Mitchell. Humphreys. I mean, Humphreys. Oh, but, that, I mean, was uh, a, that was kind of a hard, difficult pass right there. And. Possession arrow, Winwood's. The first jump ball of the game. I think they got that right. Woodward's gonna ice more clock. Oh, and a nice pass. Mitchell could not get the inside the paint finish. Humphreys. Be impatient. Samuels. Knighton. Humphreys. Humphreys get out of the trap. Now Loveland's trying to foul. And oh, Dolan. Bad. That was a bad on a pass. On a two-on-one rush. And makes the layup oh. and it's back to a two-point ball game. We think the final two minutes of regulation. That was, that turnover is costly. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, Humphrey coming with the ball. They may, be a victim, they may be a victim of taking the air of the ball too soon. It's only a two-point game. As long as they get a good Mitchell, shot, which he did. Oh, and block. And ball stays oh, in. Oh, what a save. Can't believe he got that. He did. Loveland's and counter it's back, tied. and we're tied. Wow. 4 all run. Counter punch, baby. Now they don't have to worry about slowing it down because they don't have a lead anymore. Not there. We need to get hold on for our final shot. They actually were in pretty good shape until that turnover. Now they could hold for the last shot in theory. A minute 10 to go. Think they'll hold that long. They, have a they, have a they, have they don't come out and defend, they might. Yep. Knight kills the ball. Feed it back to Stanford. Nearly stolen it again. Just got to make sure they don't throw an errant pass cross court. We got one minute left. And they are going to try to hold it for one if they can. Can they be patient? Oh, well, I thought he walked. He did. Well, he got lucky. Time out. He really stretched that pivot foot. Got away with a walk and a timeout by Coach Johnson. I'd like to see a replay on that to see if that was a walk or not. I think he held his held his pivot foot. Watch. One, two, three. Yep, oh, I, guess, I guess he did. You think he walked? I think he did. I think I saw three steps. I saw him bounce a little bit. He could have called it. Now we're going to hear it, um, all of the fans, all the refs, get, let's get, give you the game because they didn't call the walk. So we got 40 seconds to go. If you're um, Wooden Woods, might as well hold it for one if you can. If I'm probably doing the timeout, brought up a play. Watch this. Did his feet slide? Doing the moonwalk. Are they going to continue it? Woo! I guess if he didn't slide, he's, he pivoted. They got a monitor that could use it. No, they can't do that for, can't do it for walks. You can't do review for walks? No. You could do it for time, you could do it for a flagrant foul, but you can't do it for a walk or a foul. You can't call a foul off it, you can't call an infraction. The Cup will cut final tomorrow for the Real Madrid and Al Hilal. You got 47 seconds, that's still a long time to hold the ball. See if they try to trap him. 
That's what they're going to try to do if they can. If you're Loveland, do you consider trying to steal and get a foul? Did you right get them there. to make three throws? You got 35 seconds left. They're definitely going to try to hold. They got the foul. But they still have a lot of fouls to give. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah, they got a bunch. You got a foul early. They got six fouls to give? Five. They don't have enough time. They, they're just going to foul, though, to try to disrupt them rather than to, they don't have to worry about giving up points, right? Nope. So you can play for the steal. So if you're Wynn Woods, you got to be really careful. 23 seconds here. They're definitely playing for one. Sanford oh, got the it. steal! And oh. that is huge. There's the danger. Sanford won that one back. I think that was a clean steal. But he also lost possession too. Oh, if he'd have made that shot, he could have finished it. Now, even if he makes both, Woods can go for the tie or the win. Look where they got. 11 seconds. Literally got him down the other side of the court. Nobody's covering him. This is the first. And there's a guy. He's, he's, uh, oh, that guy is, but he's not in the same area code. Now he is. And he puts it up. And it's Probably good. One. Now a shot wins it. Timeout. We got drama now. It that takes away. It that takes away. Go to the that takes away that too. So I go to I, I go to the basket right away. Force the foul. Don't don't let it run. Clock run. See behind the bench. They're bringing it back to Proback tonight. They're bringing it back to Proback. Yeah. Pioneers. Well, Ben, there's one more reason why I would go for it early. If you miss, you can foul them, and then they have to make shots, and you still have another shot. If you wait, you only got one shot to win it. So I would go early. I don't I with the clock. I would go to the basket, too. But the Warriors have no more timeouts. Now, if your loved ones start committing fouls off the ball, you commit a foul, you get a stop clock, and you commit another foul. So you basically leave Wynn Woods very little time to win it. And the inbound coming from there, not I, there. So they could get that defender. I would foul in the backcourt. Twice. Wouldn't you? You just didn't think about it. Yeah. Oh. Well, we can see it here. And foul, yeah. you caught it. Just what we said, right. Yep. There we go. So they're going to foul again. Or they might get as the steal. As soon as they turn it in, here's the foul. Oh, they didn't foul. Oh! Off of Wynn Woods. They didn't foul. I would have fouled. Now they got to foul right away. Steal or foul? Now. You can't. You got to foul right away. So you got three seconds. Uh, it might be rough, man. Might be rough. Oh, that's game. And your final score is Love the Tigers 44, Winter Woods 43.